Uh, going through and doing some editing. This is, uh, these are some old videos from, uh, mainly from the Gregory David back, uh, 2010 to 2012, uh, around in that area. So 10 years ago, this is, uh, these are over 10 years ago. Um, at least, like I said, over 10 years ago, 2010 to 2012, I think was when most of these were shot and they were all over. There's, uh, some cave, there's some at St. Louis. I think there's some in, uh, Vicksburg bridge coming through the bridge. Um, and then lots of interviews, just different folks that I rode with back then. Um, and then Adair, the woman that I'm talking to that she's talking about some, uh, uh, about uh, Scorsese and stuff. She was the TV producer that got on with me and Eddie back in, uh, <clears throat> during the hurricane uh, and the low water period during 2012. I think it was Hurricane Isaac she rode down with us. But some old footage I came across and figured I'd post. Um, I kind of got a kick out of some of it, but uh, seeing Eddie, uh, rest in peace. I uh, miss my old buddy, but some good footage. I'll, uh, just let y'all watch it. Spirit Christine's back. Hey, Christine. Yeah, I'm going to this. I thought my ship was on the outside of the dock. I'm going to that uh, one that's on the inside of there. Just give you a heads up. I'll stay out here wide out your way. Uh, it's just taking too long to get this uh, topped around. All right, just let you know. That's why I thought my ship was outside here. Hey, Roger that, Roger that. We can keep an eye on you. Oh, back from the end. Five rooms. Can we do a cop out here right now or what? No, sir. Just letting you know what's going on. 100 to the FR Bigelow, I think it is, the John Arco. 100. Yeah, buddy, you going to shoot across over there around that east bank side? I'll come by you on two or you going to run up that side? Yeah, that's what I was planning on there. I was fixing to holler at you and see what you thought about it. I think it's okay if you want to run across. Roger. A uh, little fellow flipping around. I don't know what he's going to do, but I'm going to scoot you on over there and see you. I'll see you on the two when you come back. Okay. Thanks a lot, buddy. about oh uh, mile one oh or 112 i think anyway we're just waiting on orders that's the anchorage and this is the fleet and we're just hung off in it what they're doing is uh they brought two with like three more barges out there and so the tug brought two of them side by side. They call that breasted up. And uh, they're sticking them out ahead of the, if you can see, I don't know, that barge. All right, this is one, two, that'll be three and four. Uh, three and four. And then we'll have five. We'll have one more. We're going to have six in this string, six in this string. Five in this string, so we'll go out three wide. Then when we get upriver to our next stop, we're going to add a length to each one of these. We'll slide out the three. Hey, 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 hey. 
Oh, I'm sorry, that's American Pillar. I thought it was the American Beauty, it's the Pillar. This is the uh, Laura Tamble interior, the Laura Tamble. When I was tripping over there to Southern, they just had, it just come out of refurb. We were on that coal run, uh, running up to Madison. That's on Ohio River. We were in between Louisville and Madison. In this video here, uh, I'm pretty sure Captain Tommy was on there then. Anyway, um, but yeah, this is uh, Laura Tamble. Uh, couple little clips from it and then yeah that's it
We figured you were scared to come. Don't be taking pictures, goddamn. I didn't think he was coming down here. I just got a steak. See, I, I, everybody, has any shit that y'all give the cat, I'm gonna send this to Dean. Now, what's the question? See, it's in there. Hey, Todd, smile. We got chicken dinner in a little bit, man. Push. Push through. <laughs> All right. Afternoon update. Um, number one, we can't stop this. <laughs> we can't stop the toe we got. Hold on. Uh, Eddie had to have two tugs back him up to the fleet you know, to tie off. Anyway, so we can't stop. So that's one thing. Uh, the salvage unit's okay. They open up restrictions so we ain't got to split the tow to go on down. That's number two. Number three, we're waiting on tug crew change. Number four, it's going to be dark. I think we got it. Got this. Let's do it. Here they are. There's the piers. There we go. Dangerous. You see all the scuff marks on them right there. Damn. Oh man, what's up? Eating all the grub. Oh man. <laughs> Got a man sitting right there parked. I like this. <laughs> Put some more cheese on there. <laughs> oh, damn. There's our northbound stuff. Damn, there you go, son. There. What do you think, James? We ready? Huh? We ready? Lay some wires. Uh, we got some fresh wires lay up there at that far four straight. What are you up to, youngin? You gonna survive? You gonna survive? What? Ain't where you out today? Yeah, I'm just hungry. Yeah, <laughs> you just hungry. <laughs> uh, I thought, I mean, I'm out of here working for food. <laughs> <laughs> Young, I asked Young if I... I can't see mine. Can you see me? Yeah. I look all right. Yeah, you look all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, just hit the bridge. Just hit the bridge right there. Stuck his barge. Yeah, fuck, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, come on back. Come on back. See what we got here. We gotta slide the boat over anyway. That motherfucker, I just watched my mouth. That thing's uh, just sitting on the. It's going down. Oh, he didn't lost everything else. Uh, what you like about working on a river? Oh well, come on. Meet different people, go to different places. Oh, yeah? Come you on. like working with the guys on the boat? Yeah, some of them. <laughs> What's the disadvantages of working on a boat, Myra? You're confined. Stuck out here. You prefer working on a river to working on working on land. Yeah. Ain't too bad. Yeah. Now you got to turn around, and look, and smile at the camera. <laughs> it's four thirty in the morning, man. I know. <laughs> and I got a what time? What are you at work at hours, Myra? What time? You don't pack a hundred. Videotaping. I now ask you. So, what do you think about working on the river, Ben? <laughs> <coughs> Todd, 
Tony, what do you think about working on a river? I like it's running kind of fuck old this. <laughs> Elaborate on the colorful language we have out here. <laughs> Man, they had me. They got a whole. I actually do. I love this job, actually. They had a whole list of questions, everything from uh, what's with the cheating girlfriends to, man, she had a bunch of questions. She wanted me to videotape you guys and ask them. I was like, all right. What's that? Would you you prefer working on the river to working on land? Oh, hell yeah. You only got to be on time to work like once every two months. What's the advantages, the main advantages of working on the river? You rather work on a boat than work on the river? I mean, work on a <laughs> boat than work on a bank? I think I know how to do, man. <laughs> That's me, man. I'm a natural born killer, man. <laughs> Where the hell's Todd at? I don't know. He hiding? Yeah, he's getting interviewed. He's interviewing us. Hey, Todd, when you become rich and famous, <laughs> what's your what's your job title, Todd? First mate of the river, David. What do you think about working on the river? What do, you, what, what do you like about it? Uh, the off time. The uh, off time. <laughs> What's the main disadvantage of working on a river? The gone time. <laughs> <laughs> Man, she had a bunch of questions. She wanted me to videotape you guys and ask them. I was like, all right. What's that? Would you you prefer working on the river to working on land? Oh hell yeah! You only got to be on time to work like once every two months. What's the advantages? The main advantages of working on the river, Ben? Uh. What do you like about it the most? The work schedule, the food, the people. Not the people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck you. I don't know. Probably doing the tow work and stuff. I just oh, I like doing it. Good at it, I guess. What's the main disadvantages of working on the river? Being gone all the time. Well, hey, gone from what? You're around people out here, man. Yeah, my old lady and my family. So my specifically, family. female companionship. Female And so that's what stand up here a little bit. Yeah. Here, let me back up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, uh, we got it. Are you getting the history? Yeah, I got the history of it. And that's the bridge. That's the sunshine sunshine bridge. And there's the cup. The cup's traveling the river. There you go. I ain't seen nothing shallow. So I thought, well, hell, they're just running one side or the other. I'll get up there and feel it out with my fucking that head. It's gonna get shallow one side or the other quick. Well, I got up there and it's a fucking half a mile wide, you know? I mean, yeah. it's just, that's scary, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's what don't say. If you, that's what t people don't, they won't, they wouldn't understand that. When you see a wide river at this stage, it's, mm -hmm. you get scared. Yeah. Because you know one, you know damn well that ain't right. Something ain't right with that picture. Well, it's just like him setting him booing down at the rain. Yeah. Both are lying to us and, and they don't know. even, but that's the deal. Fucking running cosmetic buoys. I'm gonna tell you right now, I, Eddie. I'm, I'm yeah. dead serious. Yeah. That I'll write a fucking article about that. That a cosmetic buoy cost the industry millions of dollars one I mean, day. He's saying he, he, he don't fucking hear it. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're saying they're gonna have a foot rise in the water and green. And a footfall. Yeah, and then a footfall in Memphis. Over the same day period. Over the same day period. Uh, they got any reservoirs up there they could dump on Arkansas? Oh, Lord, I don't know. Um, uh, I don't okay. Think so. Name drop for me. You've got 30 seconds of name dropping. What's Martin, wh Who's Martin, impressed? Martin, what? Martin Scorsese. Marty? Marty. Do you know him familiar enough to call him Marty? All right, but you're not I the producer. About what? What film? Film preservation. 
a film preservation. It was about preserving film. I got you. Didn't you deal with something with the with the Turner Library or? Yeah, and what'd you do? You say old people first. Were these people that dealt with certain films that you were dealing with? Actors, or? directors, choreographers. But what big film that would of the archives that you worked on? What what's a big one? This is a uh, Peregrine, Peregrine Falcon. I can't remember exactly. Um, anyway, uh, we were there at St. Louis, and uh, he had an injured wing or something. Long and short, we ended up putting him off at Lock 25 with a bird sanctuary out of St. Louis. Came and got him. So, yeah, it was a happy story with the Peregrine Falcon. That He was a young one. I think he had an injured wing. But anyway, that was kind of neat. Now tell me what he do, Ricky. What he do? Come on, man. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. All right, we had the log dog. What's the, what's the it's log, got a, a log dog? Log dog. Is a, it's a pontoon with an A frame. I think I see. All right. Yeah, it's got a four cylinder Volkswagen motor that runs a that runs, runs a winch. <laughs> you know, we flipped it upside down because that log. Once we got that log too. It's too heavy. Yeah, it was too fucking heavy. Yeah. He was breathing through a goddamn water hose, trying to undo the log tones when we get that log dog. Oh, he was time. underwater trying to. <laughs> yeah. And so you was on top side holding yeah. the water hose up for him. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and holding it, holding a little, it's like a little nylon string when you yank on it, and let me know he got it. Yeah. Like pull the log tones up. That's what that was. So that was what three years ago. Yeah, about, yeah, about three and a half, four years ago. All right. See, I got your video now. Yeah. <laughs>